Hey everyone, it's Gretchen here, Cat and Paul. So, I'm still unpacking stuff from the move. And I came across the box, like it says, candles out of the bookcase. So, I figure we'll start our September burning melt right here. I'm definitely going for the fall theme. No, no doubt about that. That was an easy decision. All I did was crack it open and let's see what's inside. Fingers crossed my candle snuffers in here and my candle clipper so we'll see what's what is in here oh goodness i'm trying to remember what was in that bookcase did i buy that i must have maybe i want it in a in like the family reunion you know they have those silent the auctions that you bid on uh the surprise auctions or maybe I bought it. Who knows? Vanilla shortbread cookie, caramel apple, cranberry, chutney. They are these little jar candles. And you know what? I wouldn't mind getting through a couple of them. I find the candles that are relatively inexpensive are like the ones that need to probably go first. Versus like, you know, your Bath and Body Works and Yankees. And um, uh, what else do I have? I think I have a couple colonial candles. So, let's see. I'm just going to put that in the mix. And I think I could probably light a couple, at least like these two on their own. Hey, we're on a good start here. But a lot of this is probably just put away. I knew I had more milk cups. Christmas celebration. Sugar pumpkin squirrel. <laughs> yeah, sugar pumpkin squirrel. Hey, you never know. Sugar pumpkin swirl and alpine morning. Silver spruce and cedar tips. I bet that smells really good. But this is the uh, Swan Creek. And I am running out of room to put my candles. I don't know where I'm going to stash this latest collection at. I found two more boxes. Oh my, that smells like like a pine tree. That, like your Christmas trees up. That's a nice one. I have to remember that for uh, Christmas time. Mark made this. I did have it on the bookcase, didn't I? I'm trying to remember. There is my bookcase there. One of them right there. And then that's the TV cabinet that goes with it. So, I'm trying to remember what was on them a few months ago this is where I keep my tea lights why did I put a piece of pa paper in there um, these are just unscented I think they're better homes and gardens and they last probably about four hours four to six but they're nice because you can get a whole like a hundred pack for well at the time I got them for like under five dollars a tin from Dollar Tree. Is that dust? Oh my gosh, it is dust. Ooh. Okay, these are... Oh, I know where I had this stuff at. Some of it. I it on top of a shelf. We did not hang that shelf. So, these are papers. No, they're not. They're battery-operated candles. Do you see my wax mama? It's seen better days, but it still works, and that's the main thing I like about it. My stacking boxes, so you take each one out and they stack up. Like this. say autumn greetings so I will leave those out and clean them up see something red a cinnamon scented candle spice scent hmm I think that probably is time to burn it doesn't smell like much cinnamon oh a bird I think this is Samantha's. 
I think I bought it somewhere and she claimed it from me, so. I get that to her. But you know my kids don't watch my videos. Nope, they don't support their mother at all. So some of this other stuff, I'm, I probably just mixed in for the box. So it, it's like that's to go in my eBay store. This is, oh, Bath and Body Works jar magnetic topper. You know what? I have not seen these for a long time. I wonder if they've stopped making them. But they just attach to the, the lid of your Bath and Body Works. Like that. Pretty cool. I like these. I have a couple of them. I'm glad I got them when I did. Well, no candle thing yet. Bath and Body Works candle holder and a ceramic pumpkin. And I so far only got one thing to put in my burning melt. Kitty cat. I had that on my desk at work. I think I got him at Walgreens. Maybe in Dollar Tree. Oh, and my longer burger. No, it's a stacker. Um, I think it's a business card basket. This feels right. Candle jar holder with what's in here? Vanilla pumpkin chai. American home. So isn't these ones that were sold at Walmart? Hmm. I might just put that in the mix. And leave it in my candle holder. Oh, by the way, mm, I know I just like run out of room and I bought, I found a couple more boxes of candles. I know, I know. But I also placed an order for their Halloween Yankee candles. Um, their jar holder, that trick or treat one, where they call it Halloween scene. I think this is another battery operated. It's not here yet. I just ordered it. I see some milk cups down there. Wait, wait. Is there anything in here? Ah. These are candle plates so you don't burn your um, furniture. And they do work. So I have a long time ago made a candle accessory video. I'll have to make another one sometime. And if you like, oh, I got that at Ollie's. If you uh, let your candles burn down on a surface, sometimes they will scorch and melt the surface. So always put something underneath it. Always put it on the holder, something, hot pad, anything. And then I have that one as well. Okay, I had my candle snuffer sitting because look at all that crap. That's where I put it at. This feels like milk house, apple strudel. I might just be really shopping most of my candles out of this box. Ah, let me get it open. Two wick. Oh, that smells so good. Apple strudel. You know, I have a couple of these candles. I'm tempted. I think I'm going to put this one in. And I think what I'll do is when it's burnt down, I'll probably put the rest in the freezer and snap out the uh, wicks and clean it and then probably reuse it for something else. Because I like, I like candles that come with their own handle. 
their own delivery system. This is, wait, wait, another pumpkin. I also, wait, oh, dun dun dun. Illuminate. And look, there it is my candle wick trimmer and my snuffer. There you are. So you just push the wick down in the wax and then pull it back out. Or you can just put the lid on your candle. And then this is what I really wanted. I've been using my scissors and, you know, soot gets on things like that. I have a couple of Luma lids in here too. A snowflake. You can see they made a good cleaning. Easter eggs. And another Easter. So what you can do is just pop soapy water. You can let them soak. And take like a, I'd use a paper towel. Because there's going to be soot. And, um. That way. Okay, here's, this is the other thing, the other orangish looking one that goes with this candle holder right here. Or at least that's what I put them on. You can put any, I think they're meant to really hold like a jar. I'm looking around, I have a small jar. Um, from Yankee, I'm pretty sure this is Yankee. Didn't they have like tumblers that fit that? Another battery operated candle. I think I did take all my batteries out before I moved. That way they didn't know. Uh, I don't know, get that white crusty stuff on it. A couple milk cups. Milk cups and coconut. Beach and catching weeds. Battery operated lantern. And the mirror to the bottom. Ah, uh, they got chewed up a little bit. So all that stuff on them. More. Battery operated candles. What was on top of that? That lantern. That's okay. Kind of adds character. I call these my candy corn candles. But they're the battery operated as well with the Well that will do it with the um wrought iron candle holder. Let me see what damage I just did. Oh, it's fine, it's fine. So I'm at my hutch, and this is the hallway I was talking about. I'm still trying to clear out, you know, honestly, most of that is craft supplies, I think. I'm not sure what's on the other, the two bottom boxes, but I think so. Here's the box of candles I found. And here's my hutch. Let me get down there and we'll find some more candles to burn. I've already sneaked in this box and I don't think I really have anything here for fall. I think it's mostly Easter candles. Uh, I, I do have a gift set, so I don't know what scent that is. Ginger spice cookie. Well, I guess that could be fall. Mmm, that smells good. Fudge ripple. Yum. Whoa, dang, gone. <clears throat> Happy Easter, Bath and Body Works, and uh, Pumpkin Apple Harvest. Wow, made a liar out of myself. I think that's another Ollie's pickup for four something, four ninety-nine. What was the other kind I just had? You know, I'm gonna slide this over here. So I remember to pick it up and put it in the um, mix. And then I do have this. It's going to be loud. Yankee Candle gift set and spiced pumpkin. 
that is still in the package. Get these out of the way. I'm kind of on a toss up with that ginger spice. I just smacked a lid of it. I think it's okay. Pretty hard. side so what we got a large candle a small tumbler two wick um how do I turn my flash on this camera there we go put you up so you can see all right we got Pumpkin banana scone. That sounds good. That's what I ordered. Not the banana scone, but I ordered um the jack o' lantern. I haven't smelled it yet. There, I did have a couple colonial. These retain their fragrance pretty good. Look at that oil. Oh my goodness! But I only have a couple left of those. Just don't know what to get into. A bonfire s'mores. It smells like there's a hint of coffee in it. I do have pumpkin peanut brittle. Different. What is it? Caramel brittle, salty peanuts, toasted pumpkin seeds. Oh my gosh, it's you know, like in your corner and you're sitting up. It's wearing me down. Um Pecan pie bar. Look at the wax on that. Salted caramel. Oh my, that's a beautiful thing. Okay, this has already been lit before. Oh, I got it to Goodwill. Well, you know what? Taze. September's a good month to burn it. So we'll get that in the start. And I see an autumn wreath back there. Go. Autumn leaf in the back. Two wick. I ordered one of these. I wonder how many of these I have. I used to have a gazillion. It's not going to work. It can't touch the top of. Um, of that or my drawer won't shut that is blackberry cream frosting that smells good okay let me jump to the other side oh. other side of my hutch I apologize if I sound louder uh, let's see what we got what we got I see a pumpkin back there um oh I don't know New England maple a harvest reveal a hidden scene this is spiced pumpkin vanilla cupcake trick or treat Mmm, okay. I'm thinking about this one. I don't know. We'll give it some thought. You can, can you see what I'm doing? I think you can. So there's the bottom of the shelf. Banana walnut muffin. Maple pancakes. It doesn't smell bad. Um, I'm going to put that off to the side. Fall Farmhouse. Now, I did order... I did order one of these recently. 
Oh, I forgot about all these three wick candles I bought. See, that's what happens when you have too many candles. Can you have too many candles? But I don't think so. That one smells really good. I, I've been wanting to burn one. I did not do it last year. So I'm putting that off to the side. I gotta make decisions now. Oh, decisions. I have a pumpkin, uh, spice pumpkin, spice pumpkin. That's a Christmas bee jolly. Uh, I guess I'll think about it. Spooky spider cider. Okay, so I think I have enough candles picked out. I'm really going to try hard to get through all of them. So let me make a confession. I went to Walmart one day and I was smelling their wax. And I picked up three clamshells. Crisp fall leaves and orange and cinnamon rolls. And I think this is the crisp fall leaves. It is. So I got two of those. So I want to put these both in the mix just in case I like them so much I can get them before they're gone. Uh, what else did I want to get in here? I'll show you real quick. I moved my soaps around again. So I used up almost all my summer soaps except for uh, just a few here. Um, so I moved them in with my special like this is Easter and Valentine's and spring. So that's all in one basket. And then um, Halloween over here. Fall over here and winter Christmas there. I stocked up pretty good on the fall soaps, but it's my favorite season, and I go through so many that uh, that'd be a good time. That and I had a really good coupon, so I got a few. Those are last year's. I think there's a few fall in here too. All right, what else? I guess my wax melts. There's the candles I found. I did get the candy. What is it called? Enchanted candy potion. And the candle was an online exclusive. And it was $10 off the three wicks. And then I had a coupon on top of it. So I did get that for Halloween. I don't have a lot of Halloween candles. September. The goodness of fall. Or the beginning of fall gift shop. I'm going to get this. You know why? Because I picked out that fall farmhouse from Bath and Body Works and I want to uh, see if they blend well. This home works in the toasted vanilla cupcake. I think I have a couple other ones in here too. This is cinnamon apple peaches. For the holidays, you think I would remember what's in here? As many times as I've been in this basket, pumpkin, ginger, and apple. Well, let's try that one. What is that spiced caramel? Did I get any caramel candles? I'm gonna put that off to the side. If I don't get through them, I'll just throw them back in here. And Apple pie. Is that that cheesecake one? Yeah, home for Christmas. The white chocolate cheesecake. I'm not a big fan of that. But you know how your nose changes, so I'm hoping the next time I dig it out, I will be. Maple caramel swirl. Um, I did not get that maple pancake, so I think I'm just going to leave that one there. There's this one. Homeworks Autumn Pumpkin. I want to get through that. Some of this is getting pretty old. There's another Maple Pumpkin. Apple Cinnamon. Cookies Cottage. I think I just did that one. Apple Clove Butter. I'm trying to think, do I have any apple scents in my candle picks? Mm 
teaspoon of brown sugar. You know, I might, because I got that peanut brittle candle, I might go well with that. And, oh, here's a favorite, salted caramel. Okay, I think I'm good. Here we go, September's burning milk. First up, this three-pack candle jar set. The salted caramel that I picked up from Goodwill that has already been lit, but it looks like it was a pretty decent burn. Barely lit it. Um, this, why did I pay for that $20? Apple strudel by Milk House Candles. My Ollie's candle, I got for $6.99 in the warming pumpkin chai. Another Ollie's $4.99 Yankee candle, American home and pumpkin apple harvest. I think that is too, yeah, it's too wick. Okay, Bath and Body Works, banana walnut muffin. Look at that cute pumpkin lid. Pumpkin peanut brittle. I'm not sure about this one yet. I hope I like it. And this one I've been wanting to try since last year. Fall Farmhouse Bath and Body Works. Love that copper colored lid. And then for melts. Oh my gosh, that smells so good. Open that lid up. These are all candles from the kitchen room up first. Pumpkin, ginger, and apple. The spiced caramel, which I think will go great with the salted caramel. The country gift shop, which I think will go great with the fall farmhouse. Pumpkin and brown sugar because these shapes are so stinking cute. Look, there's a little pumpkin and a corn on the cob. This Homeworks Melt in the Autumn Pumpkin. Pumpkin, orange, cinnamon, clove, and nutmeg. I got these a while back and I think it's time to use them. Better Homes and Gardens, these are new at Walmart. I just got them within like the past two weeks. Orange and cinnamon roll. Crisp fall leaves, because again, I want to try these in case I want some more. I can get them ASAP. And then salted caramel. I've had this one for a while. Actually, I have a whole sleeve of these. So I figure that will go great as well with the salted caramel. And that's it. September. Oh my gosh, September. September. I have a birthday coming up this month. And Chloe's birthday is this month. And I hope, you know, this whole um, thing on YouTube, you can't, you know, you have to let if it's made for children or not. But I want to try to sneak in a little vlog of Chloe's birthday. So I'll keep my fingers crossed on that. And I'll have it checked before I, like, post it. But her birthday is not till the end of the month. All right. I hope your September is starting off on a great start. And I'll talk to you soon.